So if you haven't figured out by the thumbnail what this video is about, that's what it's about. It's about a garbage disposal and the fact that I hate them because nine times out of ten I have to drop them in order to snake the sink drain. So that's what this video is about. Stick around. I'll be right back. So I was here on this job last week, this customer called up and he said that uh, he threw some stuff down his garbage disposal and all of a sudden the water started coming back into the tub from the kitchen sink and also when he ran the bathroom sink, the water came in the tub. So that was pretty cut and dry because what I was able to do last week was take off the trip weaver plate there and I sent my snake down there. And I got the stoppage right away. So as soon as I did that, we ran the kitchen sink, we ran the bathroom sink, ran the tub, everything was going down beautifully. Uh, this is a longtime customer of mine. He loves garbage disposals. I personally hate them. Uh, you know, I feel people throw stuff down there that they ordinarily wouldn't throw down just to drain, but nevertheless, I get a call this morning. He says, Bob, you never guess what? I did it again. He said, but the uh, bathroom's okay. It's just the kitchen sink. It's clogged solid. So uh, let's go in there and take a peek. I can tell you this is not going to be fun. I've been under his sink before. I've taken down this garbage disposal to clear stoppages in the past. And this one I've been working on for about 45 minutes. I thought maybe I could plunge it and get it to go. But all I succeeded in doing was uh, actually creating some leaks under the kitchen sink. So the job here is going to be, I actually, I called him up. I said to him, listen, do you insist on having a garbage disposal? Because if you do, I'm going to have to install some kind of a clean out and uh, mount it on the side of the cabinet so we don't have to go through this baloney again. Because this is totally ridiculous once you see what I have to do underneath. Anyway, so I have to... Uh, bail all this water out. Once I bail all the water out, let me go down and show you what I'm faced with and uh, you'll see uh, why I hate garbage disposals. All right, like you can see here, uh, this cabinet is not very wide. It's about an 18 inch opening. It's a caddy corner cabinet. Not a lot of room in here. There's a lot of stuff on here. So I had a bear of a time getting under here. Uh, I, I proceeded to plunge this hoping I could pop the stoppage, but all I did was create leaks by these joints here, as you can see. I guess the gaskets were compromised. There's a ton of stuff under here. There's a water filter on the left. There's a dishwasher drain hose, dishwasher supply lines. Uh, in the past, I've had to prop up that trap with that piece of two inch PVC because the line coming out of the wall is back pitched. It's a little wonky. So this is uh, something I have revisited many, many times, and it's not, not pleasant, I got to tell you. And, uh, you know, I came to the realization I'm going to have to put a clean out here uh, once I back this all out and actually clean it out. Because there was no way uh, I'm, I'm going to be able to do this without dropping the disposal. So you guys that want disposals and don't have accessible clean outs, keep this in mind because this gets pricey. Uh, if you have deep pockets, I guess it doesn't uh, make a difference. But, you know, most people don't. But it is what it is. And uh, the idea is to install uh, a clean out here. So in the future, uh, we can we can get this cleaned without going through this whole uh, crazy thing. Uh, he wants his disposal. And, uh, you know, he did not want to get rid of it. So uh, we had to do what we had to do. Uh, so let's take everything apart. And there you can see I dropped everything. It's out of the way. It's still the room is just ridiculous under here. And you could see the line going in there. No clean outs, no accessible clean outs. So I used my handy electric handheld machine with a 25 foot wire. I popped uh, the stoppage. And then it was just a matter of proceeding and, and putting everything back together again, which again was not pleasant, uh, you know, but the uh, I did what I had to do, uh, probably took from start to finish. I spent maybe four hours, four to five hours getting this done. Um, it was a pain in the neck, and this is why I hate garbage disposals. You know, unless you have cleanouts, and in New York City, there are no cleanouts in the wall. And there you can see I put my Y in. I was originally going to run this along the wall and strap it, but 
I decided just to wrap it around the disposal and have the cap sticking out so I could just throw a snake down there in the future if this happens again. And I used a PVC trap this time and I propped it on top of the cabinet to, to get me a little pitch because this trap was a little deeper. So I was able to uh, prop it up and support it, put everything back together again. And basically there is the clean out. I just wrapped it around the disposal, put a gym cap on it. So in the future, if this disposal uh, clogs on its own, I'm going to be able to throw a snake down there and just run the kitchen sink while I'm snaking it and I can wash everything out. And you can see it was just tight. It was just not easy to do, but uh, you do what you got to do. And uh, just if you want a disposal, man, just be careful about the stuff you're throwing down there because it can create problems. And uh, again, if you have to drop the disposal, I hope you have deep pockets because it gets extremely expensive to do a job like this here in New York City. So that's how it goes here in New York City with a garbage disposal. We don't have available cleanouts most of the time in the wall like I've seen in other states. They have either a clean out below the waistline or above the waistline so you can take a plug out and snake the drain out. That's not the case here. Nine times out of ten I have to drop the disposal and you know what? I hate it A and B it gets expensive. So if you want a garbage disposal and you want to throw everything that mankind has developed down the garbage disposal because you're too lazy to scrape the dishes out and put it in the garbage. You better have deep pockets. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, I highly recommend you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Sorry for the rant, but again, I hate them. I did all I could to convince this customer to get rid of it. He didn't want to hear it. But at least now I can go there in the future, take the plug off, send the snake down, and he'll be good to go. So again, folks, thanks for stopping by, and as always, happy plumbing.